The mortar can be carried by one man and set up on nearly every type of terrain. However, it's easier to use if you put it on a flat hard surface and close to a resupply. After deploying the mortar by using the fire or left click button, you can fire straight away. To raise a shell to the tube, use the fire button. To fire the shell, hit your fire button again. If you see friendlies in the target zone, or your spotter tells you to stop firing, you can lower the shell again by hitting the secondary fire key. To adjust the direction the mortar is facing, use the left and right keys. Both hands are required to turn the mortar, so you cannot do this whilst firing. There are two ways of adjusting the range. The easiest way to get the distance right is by changing the angle of the tube. You can set the angle to anything between 45 and 75 degrees. In-game, the angle of the tube is adjusted by using the forward and backward keys. To get a bigger angle, use forward. For a smaller angle, use backward. The bigger the angle, the shorter the range. So a lower angle, of say 45 degrees, will give a longer range. You can also adjust the collar at the base of the tube. This regulates the pressure that builds up in the tube when the shell is fired. With fully open vents, the standard setting, you get a shorter range than with fully closed vents. The vents are operated by the lean keys. Lean left to open the vent for shorter ranges, lean right to close it for longer ranges. By adjusting the angle of the tube and the vents, you can vary the range of the mortar from anything between 50 and 920 meters. If you have to move away from the mortar position for a short time, you don't have to undeploy it. Hit the use key and the mortar will remain where it was. To take the mortar with you, use the bayonet attachment key, F. Since the amount of shells you carry is limited, it is always a good idea to deploy close to ammo caches. You can also get more shells if your spotter resupplies you. 